one nation can challenge, can set an example, can strike shame in other nations, but it alone can never create that state of disarmament which it is our conviction is the essential condition of peace. And we are going to go to Geneva determined by persuasion, by arguments, by appeals, appeals to what has been written, appeals to pledges already taken, appeals to history, appeals to common sense, to get the nations of the world to join in and reduce this enormous, disgraceful burden of armaments which we are now bearing from one end of the world to the other. The Prime Minister said a few words today, but he told us much more in the House of Commons. As the Prime Minister said quite truly, the will to peace exists, I think he said, throughout Europe, among the statesmen. I would agree to that. The will to peace. But they haven't all got the same, shall we say, the same conviction that we have that the cause of peace is going to be aided by international disarmament. In this country, with the heaviest taxation in the world, one reason is because we pay our debts. <laughs> we raise a gigantic sum of over 500 million. Every penny goes to pay to liquidate the cost of past wars and to pay a hundred millions to prepare for future wars. You will never disarm, you will never effect real disarmament until you renounce war not merely on a scroll of paper but in the hearts of men. <laughs>